Welcome to episode 13 of the Whatever Podcast, the show where we talk about whatever. whatever. Uh, pragmatic. MC Brooklyn. <laughs> I was like, which name should I use today? Uh, Lawrence King, a.k.a. MC Brooklyn, a.k.a. East Coast Beast, you know what it is. Um, we're here in Annika Pre, Italy, beautiful Annika Pre, Italy. The sun is shining. Um, we are thriving out here, having a good time. Uh, Great time. Magnificent time. So we want to... Um, Today's show, we want to talk about this uh, interesting venture that we're getting involved in. Um, Trilogy is entering into the NFT metaverse crypto currency like space. We were, excuse me, we were, (laughs) yeah, yeah. we ain't good out here. (laughs) We were approached by um, two Davidson um, alumni who are Jason. Uh, Ford and uh, Mbai Njie, I want to say. Uh, yeah, so they're they're two Davidson alum. They they've been um, working in the NFT uh, cryptocurrency metaverse space for a long time, and they they've um, had some success um, in their own journeys, and they wanted to pull all that experience and knowledge together to create their own video game that would be played in the metaverse so it's a literal game that they're that they've created but they also wanted to you know uh create a place where you know black and brown artists could push their Mm. their art in the game with that you can you know use for yourself so like let's say you have your own avatar and you have your own house you can put up like an artist's like you know piece literally in your living room and the money that you pay for that will then go to that artist and the music that you play you know, in your car, in your house, whatever would be like from us um, per se, and then we would get like a cut of that. And then you kind of, you just want to, just like how any video game that you play, let's say GTA, you'll pay for like certain songs on the radio, or you want to deck out your, you know, your house a certain way, you're going to pay some money for that. But this way, the money is, not only does your crib look fly and your avatar looks looks fly, you're also helping out, um, you know, real artists and whatnot with, you know, cryptocurrency. Um, so basically it's a, it's a, it's a game that's kind of like GTA in a way. It's more like, you know, building up your, your own like empire, your own like uh, drug empire and whatnot. But at the same time, the whole point of this is to like, not only to empower and, you know, give money to, to creators, but also to educate around like, um, the drug game. And that's what the big game is called the game. Right. So just kind of, kind of getting rid of some of the stigmatisms around it, where it's like, it's not just like. Yes, it's the, it's a it's um you know it's a crime, but you have to think about when you flip your perspective. It's about you know someone who can understand how to make a business from nothing and whatnot. So it's just about how do we change the story around it, the narrative, and then also like empower like artists and whatnot so that and and give money to to people who need it so that they don't feel like they have to you know be in um in that situation. But also just to kind of expose all the players involved in in something like that. So it's not just the people selling the drugs, it's the, the government who allows it to happen or the CIA or the FBI or whatever it may be it's who like pushes the drugs in certain communities, et cetera, et cetera. So they, they kind of know, they can explain a lot better than, than that, but we are investing in the game. We're putting our music and our art into the game and we want to push it and we're going to have like songs there exclusively. So um, Vic is the one who brought it to my attention. So I'll, I'll let him kind of dive deeper into it. And that's just like, just the intro, maybe not the best intro, but it is an intro. That was a solid <laughs> intro. So yeah, I was like, "What am I gonna talk about?" <laughs> but no, I think another way, another perspective to understand how the game works. It's for hustlers, by hustlers, yeah. and again, as Lawrence mentioned, bringing equity and revenue and financial capacity to Black and Brown creators, specifically when it comes to the new blockchain technology that's become. Uh, a sensation honestly mm-hmm. uh, when we think about these spaces that are already established um, where all right let's take for instance Spotify Apple music or mm-hmm. even just like a, even just like an art gallery per se like a, a real live art gallery most of these spaces when you think about the ownership and the percentages of the ownership are not owned by people of color are owned by black people so this space was created primarily by black entrepreneurs to say, hey, we want to be able to create a space where we can retain the revenue yeah. that we are generating in like a 90-10 split to mm-hmm. make sure artists are eating and not getting fractions of a penny on yeah. the dollar. And it's, it's, it's a way to be able to 
really integrate a whole bunch of multimedia assets. Like mm -hmm. when you think about the avatar that you'll be able to create in yeah. the game, like there'll be hairstyles, different various hairstyles. Clothing. Clothing, you know what I'm saying? So real designers, real mm -hmm. black or brown designers can have their brands in this space. Mm -hmm. Real black and brown hairstylists, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got your boutique up on, on the block, you yeah. know, you got another place you can get your box braids done. Like mm -hmm. if they have a particular style, they can get that asset created. Yeah. And then if you want that asset on your avatar, then you can pay for the money. You, mm -hmm. you can pay the money to get that asset. The money will go directly to that creator. Yeah. You know, again, that 90-10 split because the foundation still needs a sense of financial capacity to run things, mm -hmm. overhead management, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Or even like an art gallery or there's there's even a, a feature for like live performances as yeah. well that we could like even pull up to and hear the, hear the music live and things like that. So there's a whole world that's being created here and you want to make progress just like in any game so you'll, you'll put the money up. But at least you know that the money that you're giving it's not just to some like random corporations to like real people you're making a real difference and you get to you know play a cool game and win it so you know it's, it's really like a full circle thing for everybody and we're kind of the, the culture all the cool stuff will be there so if yeah. you want to get in then you just pay a little to get in and then you get you know exclusives from from these artists including us and that's a pivotal point right there when you when you talk about how culture is generating and what, what appropriation looks like in so many different plays and so many different ways places and ways mm -hmm. being able to say hey we have the ownership and the autonomy over how our uh, creative content is distributed and yeah essentially distributed not just locally but globally mm -hmm. then we can actually find the ownership or the ownership of that and not get cheated out of something that we can essentially create for ourselves and it gets adopted someplace else, and then you're like, mm -hmm. oh, but I made that, or that. I had a stake in that, and then you only just get like a cut of a check. Like, yeah. we really want to change it so that folks who are creating these ideas are uplifted for these ideas. And again, when it comes to the aspect of like the whole game process, um, yeah. it's like a GTA style, but it critiques a lot of the social. Whew, the social political aspect of okay, yes there 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 are drugs in the community, there's like guns in communities, but how are these guns and drugs getting into these communities? Mm -hmm. Who are the entities in the industry supporting these yeah. these uh, malevolent things? Yeah. And it's like really shut hush hush about it. Yeah. So we get to learn the flip side of this story and understand that, hey, just because it looks bad or mm -hmm. it is bad, but who are the people that are supporting this? Yeah. Not face on, but like with their money, because that's like a whole yeah. system yeah. around it. You know, like I think Jason mentioned, like yeah, you can you know get the cops involved. And as you get bigger, you you have to deal with like the FBI. You have to deal with all these different Folks organizations. Come major stuff. Who yeah. are like yeah, like yeah. sell for us <clears> or you know like take out this competition for us. you know this, there's a whole system in play you know um behind just the, the mm -hmm. front facing like oh that's a drug dealer and he's he's the person he's the reason for all of this happening where it's always bigger than, than what you think it is so they're definitely like giving you the bigger picture here and it's even cool cooler because they're making a, a pre-game which is called the dice game yeah and this is like the web 3 adjacent game that allows folks who are still familiar with web 2 or just like our current form of the internet and how you interact on the internet how you mm -hmm. play games on the internet you can earn their cryptocurrency and use that in the game, yeah. in the game, to actually buy those assets that you think are cool, or mm -hmm. support the artists by purchasing their music. So what we're doing, we're putting our old discography on there. Yeah. We're also creating some exclusive content yeah. that will only be available there. So mm -hmm. essentially, if you rock with us, then definitely check it out and be able to like say, yeah. hey, like what I'm contributing is going towards like us being able to continue to create content exactly. that we do wholeheartedly. And it's not it's it's bigger than us. We do it so we can inspire others and change the way things are perceived. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, Ironically, this yeah. is not a game for us. It's not a game. So, if you want to support us, please play the game. And <laughs> um, and you know, like if uh, yeah. if it does go well, and you know, like we're starting to see some real returns here and real consistent returns, that we're gonna like start moving all of our content over there exclusively, because um, the goal is for us to be able to 
really sustain this lifestyle so that we can do this every nice. single day. Nice. We just want to get to a point where we can make music and make art and travel and do things like this not be all the time. Or restricted by time or finances. True freedom. Mm. That's what we're after. Now, for anybody who is just like, as soon as you hear like NFT, cryptocurrency, is like, well, I don't know what that is. Get that away from me. That sounds like crazy. Totally get it. Because like, even though that I'm kind of in this now, I'm still learning as we're going on. But I will say that there is... Um, a mainstream example of this being like a legitimate and like great thing to try Snoop Dogg has he took over Death Row Records not long ago and he's moved that entire discography over to to Web3 because he knows that there's real money there as opposed to putting it on Spotify and Apple Music because like you're not making one stream is like you know like point zero zero six zero 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 like whatever you know what I'm saying like it's not it's not much you're not gonna even if you're making you have millions and millions of streams on spotify you're not gonna be making a lot more than like i don't know like five to ten k if that i don't even know it might even be less you know so knowing that you're making more money like you know per like one coin will can mean i don't know five dollars or something like that imagine if someone is paying consistently like 20 bitcoin or whichever coin for your song and you know, there's multiple people buying it and you have like a community over there, yeah, we're gonna go over there. We'll push everything over there. So, you know, yeah, so it, it works. Snoop has done that and he's he's like a real businessman. He knows what's going on. He wouldn't have made a move like that if it didn't make sense. And that's that's starting to be the wave right now. And if you're a creator, the, the competition in the NFT Web3 space is low. You're not competing with as many people as you, are, as you would be on like Instagram or Millions. Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, yeah. like, now it's really only like you know a few hundred uh, maybe no more than a thousand which is like nothing compared to that and that's there's so like, much like money for all of us yeah. to eat and you know what i mean these guys the people who are there now they're like just starting out or not like as polished or you yeah, haven't been doing it as long as you so this is like a cool opportunity for you to just get your name out there because this and this this is the thing that you really got to understand is like you don't need to have a million followers to be successful. Mm -hmm. If you have a thousand dedicated people who will give you like, I don't know, five bucks every month, those people, you're good to go. Now imagine if that was like 10,000 dedicated people in, in um, you know, the Web3 space, in, in the game, mm -hmm. paying cryptocurrency to you that can be turned into like real dollars that goes right into your bank account mm -hmm. and it's consistent and then they're slowly getting more people there and like, I, I really like this person's music, I fuck with all the shit that they do. You're set for life. Like, that's consistent, you know what I mean? On top of any live performance you do or any, like, piece of art that you sell, like, it's a real opportunity, you know, so. And you're just putting up your content. You're not, no one's asking you to put up your money. Sell your kids. Or anything like that. No, they just want to make sure that they can have that, that quality in there so mm -hmm. we track more people to the space. So if you're interested, you should hit us up that's and then cool. we'll connect you with Jason and then buy and then you're and then you're in and uh, it's really an easy process all we're doing is just like putting our wave files and cover art on like a drive folder and then they get it and they just plug it into the game so yeah also have your artist bio established as well that's helpful mm -hmm. just so you can market yourself to folks and just introduce yourself to people who, and they yeah. can just learn a bit more about you like a few paragraphs yeah a few paragraphs yeah. nothing crazy but um yeah well stated man yeah, so appreciate it. Absolutely. And listen, I'm still kind of a novice here, but it, what I know for sure, NFTs, cryptocurrency, all that, it's here to stay. They're going through their ebbs and flows, but that's just like anything. A stock market does that all the time. This thing is not going anywhere. They're going to try to find some way to regulate and all that too, but it's here to stay. So I'd rather be a part of this somehow and getting a piece of that pie as opposed to like joining it real late and then it's just like every other space. Crumbs. It's just like you get crumbs, you know what I mean? So like... And then you're dealing with all this competition and everything too. So like these are Davidson alumni. These are people that we know. They've been in this game for a long time. They've seen the, you know, like the scam, like NFT games and stuff like that, where basically the rug pull, where they get everyone in there, you pull all your money and then they just get out and cancel everything. Like they've seen that. That's not what this is. Um, if it was, we would tell you, um, and we wouldn't be a part of it either. So we believe in it. It, it makes sense. And they're gonna be launching officially very soon. Um, I think the dice game is already out there now. Um, uh, it's like an app as well as a as something you could you know do on Web three. Is that what it is? So it'll be an application, and yeah. I think also like a web page. Mm -hmm. Still in the process, very very close to being fully released. Yeah. Um, but yeah, another thing I just want to add is that 
just when it comes to being this early in a space like this is that we get to help create what the space looks like in terms of like the genuine interactions that you'll have, the feedback that you can give to people, the relationships that you can build with others, mm -hmm. and the collaborations that you can have, and just like how you can inspire folks to just hop on board as well. It's mm -hmm. just really, really dope, and blockchain is here to stay, and cryptocurrency technology, cryptography is here to stay. We're, how you're viewing this, this is a digital communication, like the world and the ways we communicate are going to be digital, yeah. and if you can have a digital asset, have control over that di digital asset, mm -hmm. and monetize that digital asset, why wouldn't you? Yeah, and if you've ever played a video game and you spent money on a skin to make your avatar look better, um, then you, you, it's not any different from that. The only difference is like now, not only do you get that skin and you look cool and you know, you're able to like flex on people in that world, mm -hmm. you know that the money's going to a good cause. To, right. to real people, real artists who will then use that money to create even better content that'll then, you know, have a positive effect on the world. Be fed and nourished with the good and, stuff. And then you'll make progress in the game and you know, you'll beat it faster and everything too. So like it, it really is like a full circle thing and um it, it just makes sense. Like I've spent money on like like for God of War, I spent money on skins or like weapons in in, yeah. in the game because I want to be able to move faster, and I think it's just really cool. Like it's just it's a really fun thing. But it would be dope to know like oh like the money you just spent on this weapon is going to like a charity that is against weapons. I don't know whatever you know what I mean stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so these are the you know something that we really wanted to get into. We're just trying to have our hands in like everything right now. So just you know we recommend it to to y'all. Um, if you're not an artist, we recommend you come over and just you know support a little bit, yeah. get into it. Um, we're gonna be putting a lot of our music on there in the future. We got some bopping bops. Yeah, for real. for real. We got some exclusive things that we're gonna put there. So we're making sure that you get value. Um, and if uh, at the very least that the new song or new piece of art will be there first mm -hmm. for like a good while before we put it on any other platform, mm -hmm. um, you know, but that's where we're gonna be like starting from. Like that's where we wanna, that's what we wanna do. We wanna make sure we're getting some real money consistent mm -hmm. consistent money so that we can keep doing this for life because listen like this is what we what we love this is what that's we're right. trying to do forever you know what i mean so like if any support that you can provide us that's great or even just kind of telling other folks like hey like they're here now um i'm not there but i support them check them out anything really helps um but we'll keep you posted on on our journey with this because this is all fun and new for us so we'll let you know when it launches and how things are going and you know we'll we'll just keep we'll also be posting about it on instagram and wherever else we can so yeah but this is um it's called the game da game we'll put all the um like information uh down there mm -hmm. um their instagram their twitter um i think they have a discord as well mm -hmm. telegram some, also yeah maybe some like contact information like an email or something if you want to ask them directly there um jason and then are always like ready to talk to folks um especially artists who want to come in and join uh, but yeah it's a cool thing it's fun and it's really easy we're not really giving much more than our time and um some of our older content and a few of our new stuff so yeah so uh yeah that's that's kind of the update we wanted to give you we are trilogies entering the uh entering web3 um so yeah hopefully you guys will join us there um either as a fellow artist or a supporter um but yeah that's what we're we're into right now so yeah Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Absolutely. Stay tuned for more. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, let's yeah. get it. Maybe some special guests. We'll ah. see. We're setting that up. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we're going to be in Italy for a little bit longer and just really take advantage and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful place. And um, yeah, we'll keep giving you guys uh, content so you can see what we are what we see out here. All right. Well, Thanks. take care. See you for the next episode. Catch up. Peace. Peace.